Hi folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. So let's uh, start a session with what is database and how the database works. Okay. So before we begin with the practical session, we will just go and see how it, what database is actually and how it works in general. Okay. So we will start with some little, you know, little uh, idea about what is database and while doing practically, we will start to you know start getting much knowledge on what is database and how it works exactly what goes on with the database then we will study okay so before we begin if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel so yeah let's begin then before we understand what is database first we will look at what is data so data is a collection of information it can be anything. It is a piece of information. Even your name, your address, your phone number, all of them are a piece of data. Correct. It can be either entered through your manually or else anything. It is a data, right? Suppose in um, before we had this database and all, you might have seen manually the people were entering in a register your name if you if you go to your college, right? If you want to register yourself, then they would have taken you with all the fillings uh, on a form and then like that it was correct before we had all this system and right now we have something called database and also before we go to database data can be of anything as I mentioned so it can be piece of information it can be either an image or else audio video anything for that matter so it, data that itself is a data so then what is database? Database is an organized collection of structured information or data typically stored electronically in a computer system. Okay. A database is usually controlled by data management system. Sorry, database management system. And the data can then be easily accessed, managed, modified, updated, controlled and organized. Most databases use structured query language for writing and querying the data. So database in the sense, it is an electronical storage. Okay. Mm, okay. And also where you can organize your data. Okay. Suppose say uh, previously we had, we will take an example of Excel how you will be writing all the data you will format it you will you know uh, you will you can you will maintain a table wherein you will store all the information suppose say uh, your name name is one column you will enter all the names in that particular row and also a roll number roll number in one particular row so like that database is an electronic storage where all the information will be stored in a format of table okay so you got my point right and to understand what is database let's say let me give an example of some website say you are facebook or gmail.com so before you register to their uh, website they will ask you for some piece of information either it can be your email address and then phone number so all the details you will enter from ui right unknowingly you will not be knowing where the data will be stored so finally what happens suppose all the information you are entering from the ui will finally get committed to the database fine so that piece of information will be arranged in the form of table in the backend so let's learn backend how it is and how it works later so let's just understand in real time how it works and also the same data you can update right suppose if you want to update your phone number you will go go to that particular field and edit your phone number or else you want to change your name you can go and change your name so all of these things you will be seeing only on ui but finally it has to go and store in the database then only it will it can reflect sometimes you might face some errors saying that uh, you are not able to save the changes correct in that case the data will not be stored onto the database and the changes will, is not applied that is what it means so finally we got some basic knowledge of what is database so let's see what kind of operations you can perform on database basically you can perform insert operation 
okay update data fetch data and delete data so these are the basic data uh, you know uh, operations that you can perform on the database and uh, we will see practically how the query we can write in in the coming session okay so just understand that you can perform the crud operations all this can be known as a crud operation in short how means crud c stands for create r stands for read uh, U stands for update, D stands for delete. So you can insert the data or else you can create the data, you know, uh, into the database and then you can read the data, you can update the data and also you can delete the data. So these are the operations that you can perform on database. Okay. Okay. So after knowing what is database and what operations you can perform. So let's see what are the advantages of using the database. Finally, database will the, is the platform where you can store all your data. Correct. So it reduces the data redundancy. Okay. So how it reduces the data redundancy. Let's take an example of Excel. Okay. Say you have some uh, person name entered already and also you forget you have already entered that person name all the data you have already taken but you forget there is a data okay and again you will manually while doing it manually you might tend to enter the same record again okay which is allowed in manually if you are doing it manually which is completely okay right which causes the redundancy okay but in database while storing it to the database it actually checks if the record exists in that case it will not allow you to update the database so that is where the uh, data redundancy can be reduced okay there is reduced updating error so what example i gave you right the same thing would be applicable for this as well we can maintain consistency by defining the constraints and data types so consistency can be maintained how suppose you want to enter the data in your name field so that you can define the particular uh, field with varchar type so that you can enter only the varchars suppose you have defined one column say your roll number with integer type so then you can only enter the integer type values. You cannot enter alphabets or something like that. So using that, you can maintain a kind of consistency. Okay. And also some of the constraints we will see in the later session. What is constraints and how, how we can apply it on database. Easier data integrity from application programs. Okay. Improved data access to users through the use of host and query languages. Improved data access. That means that whatever you have stored on the database, you can fetch the record. Okay, you can perform the ULTA operation as well. Data security is also improved using this. So security of the data can also be maintained so that nobody steals your data. Reduced data entry, storage and retrieval cost. Okay, so this is simple like redu it reduces the entry cost. So in manual how it happens, a person should be sitting there and he has to take the entries. So that is what is happens in real time. In previous, if you have, if you are comparing it to some previous 10 to 15 years back, that was the system that was followed. But right now we have application for everything. So you, you by yourself can go and do it. So it is that easily, that easy, uh, it provides so easy method. And once we saw the advantages, let's see, there are uh, some disadvantages too while using the database. Initial training required for all programmers, okay, and users. So some of them might not be knowing what is database and how it works. So initial training that is required. So what is int, what is char. So if you are a programmer, then fine. Before that, if somebody who is from non-technical background, they might not tend to understand, right? Complexity. Databases are complex hardware and software systems. Correct? So it is quite hard also 
let's see uh, in coming session why, why it is complex and how how it happens and cost it requires significant upfront and ongoing uh, financial resources okay for the project which is like going on project you have to maintain the database right so where the cost is really important and you might have to spend some cost upon it to maintain the database security most leading companies need to know that their database system can securely store data okay including sensitive employee and customer information okay some sensitive information would be there in that case the, the security is most important so that based on the security itself the company will seek the um, security correct so that is where security is a must thing sometimes there are some ha you know hackers might tend to uh, you know inject some uh, sql injections and all so from which they will um, take all the de details okay so some of the security problems could also occur damage to database affects virtually all application programs so any damage to that database will definitely impact the uh, you know storage everything will go messed up correct so some backup needs to be taken in that case so that is also a solution is there but still if something like that happens that is really a cost consuming thing that uh, that needs to be taken care literally hard okay so so just we saw about what is database and how what operations you can perform on database and what are the advantages and disadvantages of database so this is a quick uh, what you can see <laughs> this is a quick thing about database okay so coming um, on going to this over the session we will learn what is uh, queries and how we can query database and how we can uh, perform all the operations how we can create database and how we can create table all of them will be covered in the upcoming session so don't forget to subscribe to the channel please do like the video share it and don't forget to subscribe i am remembering you again thank you for watching bye bye